guys, Mopart's web shop here. Today we'll be working on a, um, well, fixing a uh, broken thread in a uh, Honda Camino, Honda Hobbit uh, rear brake plate. Um, what happens often is that these threads, they, uh, well, they break after some time because it's very soft aluminum. So what you can do is either use a, uh, a longer M8 bolt with a uh, nut on the back or you can try to use a uh, an insert like this, this one here, and um, well fix it via that way. Um, this is a self-tapping, self-threading insert. So what you need to do is drill this hole here out to 10.8 millimeters. Uh, 11 is also possible. 10.5 should do as well. And then basically uh, tap this one in, bolt this one in into place. And um, as you bolt this into place, the ends. Uh, they extend um, outwards and then they uh, lock into place. So let's see what happens here. So we're gonna lube up the hole <clears throat> and the drill bit a bit. Um, start drilling. Quick tip here, I, um, as you can see, I still have the brake pads attached, attached to the brake plate, um, which resulted in a lot of movement from the plate. I just only uh, drilled out the top hole a bit, so um, to create some clearance. I then took off the brake pads um, because the plate was moving around too much, so I advise you to do the same. Take off the pads. So I got the insert here with a bolt, a stainless steel bolt and I'm gonna try to insert it into the hole we just uh, drilled out you gotta do this pretty steadily perpendicular to the hole and I can see that it wants to thread but it's still giving me a hard time needs quite a lot of force but I don't want to go too hard I believe that thread is only brass if I'm not mistaken I don't want to fuck it up I only have two of them I should have bought more but yeah whatever looped it up a bit you can really see that there you go there's threads falling out thread pieces falling out the bottom um, yeah it does seem to work it really cuts well that 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 insert has razor sharp edges really cuts through the aluminum really well so I'm happy about that now I gotta just take out the bolt again because I only want to leave the thread in obviously one more tight spin I think I can go in a little deeper as you can see it's still sticking out the top a bit I don't know if you can see that Wait, hold on there you go so it's still sticking out the top a bit I uh, bought ex uh, these um, inserts specifically because they were the same length um, sorry same thickness well in that case length f length for the insert and thickness for the brake plate about 12 millimeters I believe um, if I'm not mistaken so it's still sticking out from uh, from the top side here. It's not a problem. You could you could yeah, you could dremel that away or whatever, flatten that out. But I still have some space in the bottom, as you can see. So um, I'm gonna try to get it in. 
a little more. I think one or two more millimeters. Brake plate is finished. Left side is that other solution that I was talking about, which was basically a longer bolt with a nut on the back. Um, obviously, you wouldn't use a bolt this long because then it'll hit your uh, hit your wheel. But this does work. This is what people do if their M8 threads are fucked. You can use a uh, longer bolt with a nut at the back to attach your rear brake brake plate. Um, that's, this does work. I like this uh, solution more here on the right, which is the insert with an M8 thread inside. Um, yeah, that's just a solution, really. That's the way to go. And look how nicely that fits. It, it's level with the top side. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And on the bottom as well, it's level there as well. Perfect fit. Um, so now you can use your uh, standard M8 thread, you know, that came with the bike for this brake plate. So yeah, I hope you guys um, found this video interesting. I really like this solution and I'm going to use this more often if my uh, aluminum brake plates uh, break on the Camino. So I just want to briefly make a quick correction here. I consulted my manual about these inserts and I remember saying in the video whilst drilling this uh, brake plate for the Camino I remember saying that you can use drill bits 10.8, uh, 11 or 10.5 um, Now 10.8 is possible, that give, that'll give you the tightest and strongest seal 10.8 is the best option 11 is possible as well as sizes such as 11.2 um, and 11.4 most people will have size 11 lying around, not 10.8, but I do advise you to do 10.8. Um, what I want to correct is that I said 10.5. Now, that is not true. You cannot use size 10.5. Uh, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, again, these are those longer bolts with nuts on the back that I was talking about earlier, which is also a solution instead of the inserts, but I like the inserts more. This barely fits. It does, though, with a spacer. And you see that the bolt nearly touches, you. well, you have to imagine this part, but it would nearly touch the wheel. Um, in some cases it does, and it leaves a little mark. Um, what else? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of emails about these wheels. Um, I've sold a few in the past from prod projects that I've been parting out. This set, let's see, I think this set is on reserve for someone. Um, anyway, if uh, if you want a set of Camino wheels, um, PA50 wheels, I uh, I probably still have a set or two lying around, so uh, hit me up by mail or send me a PM, because um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using these, I think I've sold these to someone already. But yeah, I have more of these, anyway. What else do I have here? Those are some nice, neat 14, uh, 14 spoke mags for a Vespa. And I really like this wheel right there. Uh, 12 inch mini mag, a little snowflake mag with a double disc brake system with a, some special flip flop custom powder coating. But yeah, anyway, enough showing off. Again, don't use 10.5, sorry about that, use 10.8 and otherwise go for 11. But it's really worth it to get a 10.8 drill, so try that. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.